So in this video, we're going to go over a convention for creating a collection of elements. So uh, first we want to create a parent element, and then we're going to add a collection of elements um, as children to the parent. So let's, uh, I'm going to create the parent really quick. So I sped that up just so you wouldn't be bored watching me type. Um, so we have our parent element. Um, what we want is a new element, the background black, and the size 400 by 400. It's going to be a geometry. Um, its default geometry is going to be a uh, BL rectangle. So let's create a collection of elements, and we're going to do that with uh, this code right here 10 times. Collect. And uh, what it does is um, it evaluates this block 10 times and um, it collects those into an array. So let's inspect this. So, so it evaluates this block 10 times and each time it puts it uh, into the, this array. But we don't want the number three. Instead of three, we want elements. So. So let's put our element in, bl element new, and we're just following the same basic pattern that we have. The background, we want to have a color um, random. Um, for the size, let's do 30 by 30. For the geometry, Let's do a BL circle this time. So let's uh, let's inspect this and see what we have. Um, I forgot to put in the the new. So here we have our BL elements, and um, this is laggy again because of my screen capture. But So we have 10 elements here, and we want to add them to our parent element. And we use add children, and uh, we need a name for this. So let's look at this. So we have um, 10 children elements, and uh, but they're all right here. So we want to give them a random location as well. And we're going to go 370 at random by 370 at random. So we're here we have our uh, collection. So here we have a convention for creating a collection of elements. I wanted to do this just in one video because uh, we'll be using this over and over again. You know, and so I just switched to 100 there and 